Hello, Randy Rain here, and it is robot fighting time, or at least boxing fighting time. Anyway, this is Randy Robot Garage. So here's what I know about these robots. Uh, they're from the store Sharper Image, made in China, and they just repurposed a remote control and didn't even bother to make it work like it should. I mean, they drive like tanks, and, but the buttons on here are just obviously from a video game type of control. Okay, that's just sad. But I do know they made a wireless version of this, so maybe it's different, but I doubt it. Anyway, let's see what's inside these and make these go again. Yeah, so the battery compartments are all corroded on both of them, so I can't show you them in action yet. So I don't know, I mean, I guess they have this mold and they can move this stuff around in, within the mold to make these because it's a metal mold, so maybe things pop in and out so they can configure stuff like this pretty easily. And they just reused everything, because this circuit board is pointless. I mean, you have eight buttons here to make it go forward and back, when you could get down to just four is all you would need. One on this side to go forward, one on this side to go backwards, one on this side to go forward, one on that side to go backwards. That's it. We have eight ones here. Here in a diamond, here in a square. This thing is totally repurposed. So strange. Alright, so let's have put some electricity to it. You can see that this is positive and this is negative. Positive here. Got this little red LED lit up here. And so if I push this button. Oh jeez. That's supposed to be his punch here. Oh, that tries to work. Jeez, scared the shit out of me. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that works now. I guess we're just gummed up. And what's this other side do? Okay, that does nothing. Nothing on the other side. That leg works. It's not working. It has issues still. The other side doesn't do anything. When you push, when the robot gets hit, all it does is disconnect you from doing anything. And so you have to push that revitalize button that just turns it back on. Uh, no sounds, no nothing. That's it. Seems like on red, the feet are legs work, but the punchings have issues. Okay, let's see how the blue one goes. The no. The other one. Okay, that scared me too. Okay, on this one, it seems the hook works. 
but the punching really doesn't. And it seems like it has issues still. All right. So I'll put the remote back together and I'll work on the corrosion later. Time to move on to Mr. Robot here. Let's start here. Hold up. All right, we have two motors here. One's going to spin this gear, and as it comes around, there's a gear here that's just partial that's going to push that up. And then this motor here is just turning this whole entire thing right here. And if I drop this down, that comes out. I can pop this motor off and you can see what happens. So they're supposed to happen. Punch there, springs back, and that falls out. Yeah, so the motor turns this, which is turning that gear right there, or that partial gear, activates the punching and spring pulls it back. So how much you want to bet this gear is no good. Oh look at there, it just pops right off. Huh. Well I'll be darn. Uh, so I have that gear. Jeez. Okay, that's some punching right there. Okay, you can see the gearbox here. There's a pin here. Uh, uh huh. Hey, it's got to come off. Gotta be able to come out now. Oh, there's another pin right there. Well, maybe I'll leave that one in. Maybe I'll just move on to opening this gearbox like this. Looks like the same thing. It comes off. Some gears. I'm sure this gears, of course. It's another eight tooth gear. That's of course split. Okay, time to give the little motor a test to see if it's working. It's working. Okay, let's see what we have here. The motor sticks up through here, so that gear, and it's getting connected to this gear. That gear turns this gear and that gear seems to have a little clutch on it right there so something inside there because there's another gear in there you can see it has a little clutch system in there okay so the motor turns this gear that one turns this one, that one's now turning this one that's turning the shaft here. 
which is now turning this one that has the partial gear on it right here. And this was on here. This right here, the little notch fits in that peg, and this activates the arm as well. Oh yeah, so it's going to push out. Ah, there you go. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so this guy can go back on. Okay, let's see if I can put it back together. This motor went like that. I'm just going to start with this stuff. Now, while that's doing its thing, go ahead and open this up. Oh, hello. Hmm, that gear actually looks really good. Still coming off though. I didn't get a good look at that gear before it flew across the room. So I guess have to undo the next one. And find out what size that is. Ah, just what I thought it was a tin tooth gear. It's on its way to splitting, so there's no reason not to change it. These gears are pretty disgusting, so... It's full of hair. And the motor sits in like that. Look how nice it came out. All right, let's see. There's one down. So now I might as well change the gear on these drive motors, and I think it this will be a lot easier to do without all this apart. And I don't think you have to be apart. It's not split, but it won't be long. I've got plenty of these. There's no reason not to change them. So if it's not split now, it will be. I can't believe none of those tin tooth gears were bad, but they were all good. But I'm still replacing them. On DC motors like this, on the back you'll always see like a round side and then a flat side. See that? Somewhere on a motor it will be like that. And that's how you know how it goes in. Here's the flat side. Here's the round side. So you know the motor goes in like that. Now it's time for the back. Oh, 
Oh yeah, of course this one. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have to buy some more of these. Okay, time to give it a little test. There. LEDs on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. How about this one? Uh, that one's not doing it. Ah, found the problem. The wire had broken off. Alright, now. Oh yeah, we're working now. You can see it's not too bad getting there. But now I can actually take these out. Let's do this. Go ahead and make sure I get everything out of here. Let that sit. And in no time, they look like that. Revitalize. Ooh, lights up. Board back, right. Board back, left. Let's see. So I was very suspicious at the very beginning of these because if this one can punch the chest of this one, that means this one can punch the chest of this one. And that's the same goes for the other side. If he can swing around and hit the chest, this one can swing around and hit the chest. So I wasn't so sure about these things. So, of course, I had to get my friend George over here and get some robot fighting going on. So this is how it went down. First, we played bocce ball, and he beat me by one point. One point. Anyway, we started fighting with the robots, and at first, it was really hard. It wasn't easy, because the first, the, sorry, the, the remotes suck. The remotes are terrible, and that really messes with you. That, I don't know, you'd think it wouldn't be so bad, but yes, the, the remotes are, are terrible. So that's that. Um, the legs, you have to get really used to. The legs are very, very hard, uh, different. Okay, so it's like a tank, driving a tank, but then it's kind of not in a way, since the legs move forward and backwards as well. But anyway, we finally got around figuring it out, and we were throwing blows, and it is possible, it is possible to actually hit someone without being hit yourself. So it is possible. There are things you can do, there are moves you can, so there can be some skill to this, but it's mostly chaos. But anyway, we finally decided, okay, well, actually keep score and we're not just play around because at this point we're kind of even so we were going to officially keep score and it went like this and he, uh, yeah, he hit me once yes and then I couldn't do anything and then he hit me again yeah he won that one and then we're playing to five and bam he hit me three so yeah, I'm up to three now and so then again he hits me to four 
And yeah, ends up completely clobbering me. And so George liked these robots. He actually said he would like to have some of these. And I gotta admit, they are kind of fun. They are fun. But uh, still, the remote is horrible. Um, I don't know. It, it could be more interesting. There's no sound. And, you know, that could be... Anyway, there is... I think, I guess, would be considered an upgrade. There are versions of these made by Sharper Image that use an infrared. So it's not wire. It has an infrared. And the remotes, I noticed, they do, they are fixed. They are correct. So I'm going to get those. So hopefully by the time you see this video, I've already got some of those and working on those. Because these are pretty cool. These are pretty cool. I have to give it that. Um, yeah, but we had fun, me and George, even though he beat the snot out of me. But anyway, they're not Tommy. I'm only good at Tommy. Anyway, if you like this video, please hit the like down there. If you want to see more like this, then subscribe. I want to thank these people right here. These are my patrons. These are people helping me out. These are people allowing me to show you cool little robots like that. If you want to come and help out, there are some perks. Anyway... Thanks for watching. That was Randy Robot Garage. <laughs> we walked into each other's chest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess you could just press the button. All right. Oh, I'm coming to you. <laughs> okay. Turn around. Look at you.